Hi everyone, it's Dia with Eat, Run, Plan, Repeat. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, thank you for stopping by. I've been a little bit MIA, as I've mentioned in another video. This is not only my office, this is also our guest bedroom, and my son surprised us and came home from college for a couple of days, and it kind of threw off my whole filming schedule. Um, loved having him here, but um, of course he was in my workspace, and also we spent a lot of time together, so I felt guilty at first for not keeping to my schedule but you know we got to forgive ourselves and sometimes you just have to switch up your plans and deal with it from there so I embraced that he was home I enjoyed my time with him I can't wait for him to come home for Thanksgiving but now I need to get caught up again. If you follow me on any of my social media, you know that I use a personal size planner and I have been using a Filofax Malden for a long time. I've been wanting to switch it up. I wanted to switch the color. I kind of wanted to try something other than a Filofax because that's all I've really ever owned in ring binders is Filofaxes. So I started looking around and the only other option it seemed to me for a leather binder was Foxy Fix. And I was going to do the Boss Babe Madison, but I was paralyzed in making a few decisions about which planner I wanted. I liked the back pocket that it came with, the big back pocket, but I also wanted a button closure. So it was a big purchase for me and I just could not decide on which one I wanted and I didn't want to make a mistake. I decided to just wait and be open to anything else that might come my way. And then I got a message from a Planner Addicts World on Instagram and she was very very kind and told me if I had any questions about any of the planners I could ask her because she had owned several of them so I did I asked her a few questions and because she knew I was torn between the button closure and having the back pocket um, versus the elastic closure where you actually get the back pocket she suggested the Vanderspec to me I've seen the Vanderspec before it's a beautiful planner I just always assumed it was way out of my price range it is a little bit more than a Foxy but they have this line called the touch me collection and it's their ready-made collection, so the colors are a little bit limited, but I actually wanted a black planner and they have one called Noir, so it was perfect for what I was looking for. They do have custom-made planners, but just like any other planner, those can get really pricey if you get carried away. So I ended up ordering the Touch Me Standard, which is the same size as the Filofax Personal. The hardest decision I had to make about this planner, because I already kind of knew I wanted something simple and elegant, was was what size rings to pick. They had 25 millimeter or 30 millimeter. I believe my Malden has 25 millimeter rings, which I really love, but sometimes when I have all my papers to one side, and you'll see it in the video, and I open up the binder, the pages kind of slip a little, they'll like fall out of the, um, binder clips and I figured the extra space would help so I went ahead and went with a 30 millimeter. I actually received the planner yesterday but I had some stuff going on so I couldn't film this little intro and outro so I went ahead and ripped it open and I have video of that which I'll show you right now. So I finally got myself a different ring planner other than a Filofax. I got a Vanderspeck. I was supposed to go pick up my daughter from school right now but then this came so my husband went to go get her. So once this was actually shipped, it got here really quickly and I am so excited to open it. <gasps> Look at how gorgeous that is. Ooh, that's a thick box. I'm so nervous to open this because I spent a little bit more than I would normally spend on a planner. I'm just hoping it lives up to what I imagined in my head and from what I've seen on Instagram and other YouTube videos. Love the black. Ooh, it is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it is so soft and squishy. I'm gonna tell you my first impression is I'm a little bit worried that it's so thick because I did go with the 30 millimeter rings instead of the same size that I have now on my Malden, which I believe is 25 millimeter rings. Uh, I was okay with that size, but it, I was always hesitant to open my planner because it seemed like pages would kind of slide out of them. So this is so squishy and beautiful. You know me, sniff test. It smells like a leather belt. It is so yummy. 
Okay. I'm just gonna look at this for a minute. I was really looking forward to all of these card pockets here. These are the Krauss rings that I've heard so, so much about. That's satisfying. <laughs> Let's see, it has two pen loops and they're partially elasticized. So I'm curious what I can fit in there. Zipper has like a felt inside. I don't know if you can see that cause it's black. So I kept debating on whether I wanted to just do one of the touch me planners, which is already, they're already pre-made and ready to ship or if I wanted to custom order one, but I got really overwhelmed with the whole custom ordering process. And um, it seems like there's a bunch of choices, but then when I looked online, I, I don't know, it just confused me a little. And for such a large purchase, to me, this was a large investment. Um, I just wanted to make sure I got it right. So I figured I would stay with the Touch Me line. This is so gorgeous. And it has this pocket, which I'm very much looking forward to. It's, it, it's very, very flexible. Very, very bendy and soft. I'm not sure if you can do it on the Touch Me line, but on the custom ones, I know you can have stiffener. I have no idea what that is. I don't know if it's like cardboard in the cover or something they spray on it. I really haven't researched it that much, but I was kind of looking forward to a squishy planner because my Malden is kind of squishy, but not quite because um, the cover is a little on the harder side. The Vanderspeck does seem a little bit wider. The strap on my Malden is longer, but I don't think that's gonna be a big deal. Oh, so beautiful. I wasn't gonna do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it really quick. I just wanna see. And you see what I mean by I open these and then they kind of slide out. That's what I didn't want anymore. And a few weeks ago, I actually made, or actually, I think it was right before I purchased this. I made new dividers and printed up some new inserts and labels and bookmarks for this to match the theme I'm going for which is probably gonna be right now pink and black. I've been inspired by a few other Vanderspeck owners. I almost forgot to close it. I like how that sounds. So, this is so chunky on this end right here. I'm used to it being so much smaller. That's the difference in ring size. I think that's the biggest debate I had, whether I wanted to go with the bigger rings or not. Cause I do carry this almost everywhere with me and I didn't want to make my purse any heavier, but I think I'll be fine. So that is my unboxing and I'm sure I'm gonna make an intro and an outro to this video. So that's it for this part. Okay, so I'm not used to breaking up my filming, so I hope I don't forget to cover anything. I made myself a couple notes, but that was the unboxing of my Vanderspeck Standard Touch Me line in Noir. The thing that surprised me the most when I pulled this planner out of the box was just how thick this side felt. It was just weird. I'm not used to having such big binder rings and really it's not that big of a deal. It's just something to get used to. It's a little more substantial when you hold it. So I, love, love, love this planner. Mm. It is really floppy, um, as you can see. And it the leather is really pebbly too. It's not smooth. My Malden was a lot smoother than this and um, I actually like the texture on this. I'm really curious to see how it will handle 
any um, scratches and wear and tear. So if you don't know anything about this line, the Vander Specs are made of buffalo leather and they're made in France. Because I'm in the US, I was a little worried that the shipping would take a while, but they say that they'll send the Touch Me line out within a week. And I went ahead and took a chance and ordered it. I ordered it on September 26th and didn't receive it until October 15th. I know that's not very long, but it is actually longer than I was supposed to wait. It was scheduled to get to me sooner. I gave them the seven business days to see if they would send out the planner. I hadn't gotten a tracking number yet, so I contacted the shop and I believe it was on a Friday. So I contacted the shop asking if everything was okay and um, seeing when my order would be shipped out because it had reached the seven day period. And I believe I didn't hear back from them until Tuesday. And I think this is a family owned business because um, somebody told me that they're not sure what happened and they would check with their mom when their mom came in the next day to see what happened. And the next morning I woke up to an email from the mom and it said that they weren't sure what happened to my order, but it would be sent out the next day for sure. But I think I know what happened. I had actually tried to order the planner and something went wrong with my payment. I'm not sure. I think I accidentally like backed out of the browser or something and then tried to go back into it and it said payment error. So when I tried to pay it again, it kept telling me that it was associated with another card. So I was like, forget it. There was nowhere to cancel the order, so I just created a new order, and then of course that one went through right away. So I think that had something to do with the holdup on my order. It was user error um, because they did send it that Wednesday, and it wasn't supposed to get to me until the next Wednesday, but it actually got to me on Monday, and I was so, so happy. So now just really quickly, I'd like to give you my overall thoughts on this planner and the whole process. With shipping included, I ended up paying around $150 for this, which for me is a little bit on the high end, but I am completely satisfied with it. I feel like the quality is excellent and it was money well spent. Another big thing for me is packaging and you saw it in the unboxing. It came in a beautiful black box with some black tissue paper and it was very simple and really protected the planner on its trip over to me. And even though I'm not using them yet, one of my favorite things about this planner is all of the pockets. So I have this big pocket in the back, which I'm not really sure what I'll do with it yet, but my daughter still is in high school and she's really involved in stuff. Um, so I know sometimes I'll get flyers while I'm at the school and I can just put them in there until I get them home. I wanted to try and start using some stickers. So I'm sure I'm going to put stickers in some of these pockets and maybe some die cuts. And the only thing that made me a little bit sad is these in the back here don't fit business cards. I was going to store my business cards in there, but it was a little bit too tight, but that's okay because I still have this Filofax card holder right here. So I'll just keep them in there but I'll probably put some like club, not club cards, but um, like at the yogurt shop, my little point cards and stuff. I'll probably keep them in there unless I get some cute die cuts or something. I'm not sure, but I like the option of having pockets. Another wonderful thing about this planner is the very fast shipping. I do feel that it was my error that it didn't get shipped off really quick. I could have had it probably about a week sooner, but even with the delay, it still got to me really quickly. And I have to say that the customer service was wonderful too. They answered me right away and they were very polite and apologetic and that goes a long way. And my final thought is that I cannot wait to purchase another one of these. It will be a custom one and I am looking for a gray color. I don't know if I want it in the personal size right now though or the pocket size because I would like to use it as a wallet but I am so in love with my Chic Sparrow still, the Nightingale collection. I have the, the Mockingbird, it's that light gray and I really love that planner as my wallet right now so I guess I'll probably save up and it will eventually be a Vanderspeck that is my wallet. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I took a little over a week off and I already feel rusty making videos. So I gotta get back into the swing of things again. If you liked this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you have any questions about the Vanderspeck, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And if you wanna see more videos from me, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.